All right, well now X Factor destroyed a contestant's entire life. When Zoe Alexander received four no's from the X Factor judges. Guys, yeah, so I just want to say, like, uh, you know, I do react to Sunny V2 a lot, and we'll probably not react to his next video. Just so, you know, I don't want to always react to, you know, all of his videos, guys, but yeah. I have reacted to quite a few of his recent videos, but you know, we won't, we won't react to the next one, I promise. Her entire life fell apart over a 10 year period, and the Bro, what the heck? She got quite angry. The whole thing was documented on camera from a hundred. She reminds me of like Miley Cyrus's hairstyle and, and even her appearance a little. Guys, like what? Why she get so angry, man? Different angles. It all began with this email right here, in which Zoe first reached out to the X Factor requesting to appear on the show, explaining that she was a 22-year-old pink impersonator but wanted to audition as herself. After being accepted as a contestant, Zoe was asked to send through five songs she wanted to sing, yet the X Factor then specifically demanded that Zoe audition as pink. They wanted me to sing a pink song. He basically said that if I didn't, I wouldn't be going on the show. So I agreed. After agreeing to do so, Guys, she could have like not mentioned she was a pink sing pink impersonator. But now we know why. Now we know why. <laughs> impersonator. Guys, there's actually careers like impersonating celebrities, man. Like maybe maybe even some impersonators have pretended to be celebrities occasionally just to fill in the role. Maybe, maybe not, guys. That's wild. Right, guys? I'm sure there ha there has been in, in some instances. So, Zoe was invited in for an interview where they continued to ask her about Pink. All he wanted to talk about was Pink. Have you seen Pink Live? Do you know Pink's real name? Do you think you're like Pink in real life? With Zoe adding that they had no- She knows Pink's real name, guys. An impersonator. Gonna know a lot about the artist, right guys? That's her job at this point. I think she does a decent job of looking like a celebrity Pink right here, guys, right? You know what I mean? But the fact she got four notes, like, come on, at least get one, one yes. Come on now. They're being too, a little bit too savage on this pink impersonator. ...interest in her personally, showing that the X Factor had an ulterior motive to create a story out of her being pink. Before heading out on stage, one of the X Factor producers then encouraged Zoe to give an overly emotional performance. And he said, make sure you use all of the stage. If the judges say no, beg them, cry, get down on your knees and beg. So when she'd appear in front of the judges just a few minutes later, this is what went down. It only reminds me of like James Charles, Miley Cyrus. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, like, just gives, gives like, a lot of facial f features similar to James Charles, in my opinion, guys. Um, I'm gonna sing So What by Pink. Pink, okay. Off you go. After stating that she was gonna sing So What by Pink, Zoe gave a boisterous emotional performance using the whole stage with excessive facial expressions. However, the focus on her physical delivery and a few other things which we'll talk about later meant the singing was fairly average, leading the judges to stop her mid-song before stating this. I honestly think that you need to go away and take the time to find yourself as an artist. Despite She said go away, that is such a rude thing to tell her, man. Oh my gosh. Sad, bro. They should have just let her perform how she wanted to. And because of that, she like, uh... You know, she probably is a little bit demotivated going into that, right guys? Despite this, the judges were kind enough to give her a second chance. Should we get a second song? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give you a chance. Yet she was then stopped midway through her second song before the judges once again implied that they didn't think she was good enough. Oh, dude. Interrupting her performance and like, oh my gosh, what, what are they doing, bro? Because at the moment, it just sounds like every other average sort of singing voice. But as the judges explained that she wouldn't be going to the next round, Zoe turned the criticism back onto them. You told me to sing a pink song. I didn't want to sing a pink song. Never, you guys told me to, told sing, a pink you song. to sing a pink song. Mm -hmm. Zoe then proceeded to lose her temper before bringing her dad onto the stage, swearing at the judges and throwing the microphone toward them. After some more chaos then went down backstage, Zoe lashed out at the cameraman ending the segment. However, in terms of negative feedback... Damn, bro. She, producer said be emotional and cry. And she's just straight up having like an anger tantrum about it guys like you know what i mean she could have begged for the judges to said yes like the producer said 
Man. Still feel bad for her. I think things would have went better if uh, she didn't um perform uh, the pink impersonation, but that, that's her job. I don't know, guys. This was really only the start. The family was so distraught from the event that they drove home back. This was really only the start. The family was so distraught from the event that they drove home in silence, yet Zoe seemed convinced that they wouldn't include her performance in the final cut of the show. I still didn't believe that they would show my audition on TV. I mean, how could they show the systematic bullying leading to a breakdown of a woman? It would be too upsetting. And Sat home in silence. Anyone having a... Have a car ride like that, man. And those are definitely like emotionally like interesting kind of car rides. Till about an hour after arriving home, when a Daily Mail reporter who was at the audition called the family to get a statement for an article and to tell Zoe that she was definitely going to appear on television. They will edit it in any way they can to show it on TV because it is TV gold. With this information, Zoe's mental health began to decline rapidly. As I've, I have not heard about this. I couldn't sleep. I just, I just stayed up every night. I can't stress to you. She got the overly emotional reaction uh, portion, right, guys? You know what no, I mean? What an emotional wreck I was. I didn't trust anyone, and I just kept breaking down, crying. Made even worse by the countless articles talking about the situation before the episode had even gone live. Then, after six weeks of fear, Zoe's phone began to ring. I got a phone call from The X Factor informing me that they were going to air my audition. I was honestly so... She should have asked for extra money right then and there. You know what I mean? She should have asked for like a good amount. You would be like, "Yo, I don't want you to um to add it. You gotta pay me extra." You know what Terrified. I mean? Terrified. I just said no and put the phone down. Within hours of the episode going live, the performance was being called the most shocking audition ever, while other publications such as the Mirror called her X Factor's most shocking contestant ever. As a result of this, Zoe stated, "I was recognized everywhere I went." laughed at, pointed at, threatened. Both myself and my dad have been threatened with violence to the point that my dad had to physically defend us. I'd go to the gym and people would watch the video on their phones in front of me and then whisper and laugh. Despite Dang, bro. And that's why I feel scared of public places. Despite this, Judge Tulsi Constastavlos refused to change her attitude on the situation, stating there is always going to be the odd person who throws a massive hissy fit. Thousands of people over the years have auditioned, and this one person couldn't control their temper and threw a fit. But I don't think that's a reason for everyone to go, you've got to think about their emotions. That was one person. Those are They should invite her back on, man. Hopefully this has a good ending, guys. So, some of them say they have a downfall, but they end up having a good ending. Her issues and she chose to bring those issues to the stage. Given she now had no other option, Zoe began to defend herself. But is that a router right there? What is that? That's like her sound system, right? She got an interesting mouse as well. <laughs> interesting uh, setup here, guys. N nothing game related here, guys. Not gonna lie began to defend herself by stating that the show deliberately tried to make me out to be this girl with a bad attitude before she theorized that the X Factor deliberately encouraging her to sing a Pink song was part of a plan to increase ratings through televising a poor performance, which would explain why the producers encouraged her to be emotional in the minutes before the audition. Zoe Alexander was set up for a fall, and yes, she couldn't sing, but that isn't the issue under discussion. Setting people up to mockery by deliberately enhancing their self-image beyond their talents is cruelty bordering on human rights infringement. Zoe's volatile nature would have been spotted in one of the earlier auditions and then stoked up so she would outburst on TV and thereby encourage a flagging audience to tune in. Then this this guy giving a whole psychoanalysis. Oh, I know why her computer looks like that, guys. This is uh this was done one it literally says one decade. That's 10 years. 10 years ago. <laughs> and so hopefully she could rebound from this, guys. She might gain more popularity or something. With the expectation of future Jerry Springer. I'm sure everybody's keyboards looked like that 10 years ago. RGB keyboards are not, it just started like popping up like five years Moments. ago. Shameful, just shameful, yet others were a little less compassionate. Look, she may have been set up by producers, which isn't fair, but at the end of the day, she can't sing. The judges were just being polite by using the identity thing as an excuse because she did get to sing a second song, which she was also rubbish at. Her violent slash physical outburst was wrong full stop. Yes, it's unfair for producers to mislead her, but her reaction was atrocious and very bratty. Also, her dad shouldn't have brought her back onto the stage either 
either, as this escalated the whole situation. She got to sing two songs, whereas yeah, her, she, her bit, her her proper reaction should not have been the anger, in my opinion, guys. But she she probably had pent up anger because the producers asked her to add uh, to pretend to be pink. Most people get to sing one, and she wasn't good enough end of. Yet Zoe didn't stop pushing back against what had happened. Approximately seven months after the audition went live, an article was published by BBC News titled Yo, H-E-L-S. Are you here? X Factor clip. I'm sorry, I just saw your message. It over pink tribute at complaints, in which it was explained that Zoe had gone to the government broadcasting agency Ofcom, claiming that the X Factor had ignored her track choices, changed her song list, and dictated her outfit and hair. Snap, getting like a broadcasting agencies to help her here style, insisting on her appearing in her pink persona, yet the agency found that the judge's comments were balanced and her violent reaction after the audition was unacceptable by any standards, whatever her perceived grievance. Accordingly, oh, they're not with it. They're not Ofcom with has it. not upheld Miss Alexander's complaint, with articles such as this one perpetuating Zoe's nightmare. People said to me, oh, don't worry, it'll blow over, it won't last forever, and it lasted for years and years and years. Things became even worse when Zoe's performance racked up almost 100 million views in compilations such as these Dang, bro. 88 million of all, oh my god. Two. However, with comments such as, I don't trust any of these after hearing Zoe Alexander's story, it seemed there was more that was yet to be discussed. On the I haven't seen The X Factor in so long. Isn't that show not around no more? 20th of July 2020, Zoe uploaded her own video titled Zoe Alexander. Oh, she got a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, snap. And the X Factor. Well, that's going to give her a bunch of ad revenue, guys, right? Back to the truth, in which she. 3.7 million views. Ooh. That's now a revealed that the performance itself had been edited and even CGI'd to make the X Factor look good and Zoe look bad. She stated the judges actually began the audition by essentially insulting her. And he moved on to tell me that I was very overconfident, which wasn't shown on TV. And after she started singing, the audience went crazy by cheering. However, in the final cut of the show, this had been reversed, so the audience was instead cheering while the judges gave their opinions. In the broadcast footage, Dang, bro, the editing trick is just... That's slimy, bro. That's slimy, guys. What are you doing, X-Factor? How often they be doing this, guys? Oh my god. The audience reaction has been completely changed. The audience could be heard clapping and cheering her words, as if she was voicing the opinion of the entire audience. In fact, the audience at that moment sat in silence. As a person who was in the audience, we were told to keep quiet when the judges say anything, so yeah, you're definitely telling the truth. Zoe went on to explain that the music they played was also different to what she'd sent through. The track that they played was not the track that I had sent them. It was in a different key and it was a different track. And when she'd thrown the microphone, she'd done so because because they'd turned it off while she was explaining what had happened. Then I realized that they turned the microphone off and that was when I threw it to the floor. But somehow in, in the video, I threw it like that. I didn't, I, I threw it to the floor. Zoe then debunked the segment where she'd seemingly walked off and come back with her dad. I categorically did not leave the stage and subsequently return hand in hand with my father. Once again, the footage has been completely fabricated. Another example of the X Factor's over imaginative- How do you even edit that, bro? editing before she added that even the judge's comments had been inserted at a later date also nicole did not stand up and say no baby no that did not happen so they were cut in afterwards to produce the footage Dude, these guys are genius editors bro what the heck they're adding reactions afterwards oh my god after heading backstage another scene was filmed in which zoe begged the cameraman to stop filming however this also didn't make the cut i, I was saying please please stop filming me please stop filming me this scene was cut from the broadcast footage and replaced with even more fabricated footage which better suited their storyline as it didn't portray me as aggressive the real footage would have clearly demonstrated the broken and emotional state into which i had been bullied and with this information everybody began to stand up for her i admit i was one of the many who laughed and this is what goes behind the scenes of X Factor, guys. Shameful, shameful. Thought you were this crazy lady who was just mad that you lost the audition. I'm so sorry, they're so horrible for doing you like this, with others informing Zoe that her video had blown up outside of YouTube. Over on TikTok, a relatively small account made a 15 million view video talking about what had happened, which when duetted by Zoe, gained a further 27 million views, with almost everybody sticking up for Zoe. As a result, Nicole Scherzinger's comment section 
Dang, bro, I gotta make a TikTok video like that then, man. What the? 27. And began to fill with comments regarding Zoe's treatment, and therefore the judge did this. Can we just talk about the fact that Nicole Scherzinger has blocked me on TikTok? Despite this, the mainstream media ran with the story, causing the X Factor to backpedal rapidly. You have made the X Factor turn off their Instagram comments. You have made the X Factor turn off their YouTube comments. And oh, snap. See, it came out, came back with a, a W, guys. A W. Yeah. L, that's a L for X Factor, man. Like, come on now. You have made the X Factor change the title and description of my X Factor audition video. With a 19 million view audition video having since been removed altogether. On top of this, Zoe's appearance has also been taken out of the mega viral top five angriest contestant. And they edited it out, man. Video, which went they're ashamed of it, considering bro. Zoe's poor after the truth came out. X Factor, man. Poor Wait, attitude and the show's sketchy editing feels. Bro, we gotta see some comments. Did I feel so bad for her? She was manipulated on the show and her life was ruined because of it. I'm so glad her story's gone viral. I know, right? I, I legit feel sad for her now after this. Really sad how TV shows would rather ruin someone's life, someone's life, than make a. Like the editors had uh, like something against her for whatever reason, man. Go back for her. Unfortunately, X Factor ended in 2019. I don't think she re ever really got. Yeah, she got, should get some financial compensation for that, man. Could have hired actors to act crazy, but doing this to someone without them was disgusting. I know, right? All right, guys, that's the video. Check out Sunny V2 in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all my reactions live on Twitch, and I'll see you guys next one. X Factor, bro. X Factor L, bro. Well, we know why the show ended in 2019, four years ago. Does American Idol still go on? Later, guys.